and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bike trends and where we're going uh, here we are halfway just about halfway through uh, 2023 and a few of the things I'm noticing as we move along through 2023 I'm noticing that uh, trikes are, are becoming uh, popular more and thanks to I think well first of all Rad came out with their trike and then electric but I think electric is really pushing the trike world because of the price their trike is listed at only $1,500 whereas uh, Rad has theirs over 2,000 and, and most all trikes are you know well beyond the $2,000 mark so uh, electric having theirs in a pretty good position price wise more affordable for folks um, that's helping those who are looking for a trike uh, be able to purchase one you know and uh So there, there's one of the trends that are happening more, and that's a good thing for those folks that are looking for a trike. Maybe they have balance issues or whichever, you know. Um, it gives them an opportunity to get out here and ride just like the rest of us on our two-wheelers. So I'm all for that. And another trend that just isn't happening this year, but it's it's gaining more and more momentum you're seeing a lot of bikes uh, coming out uh, and that's the folding e-bike I'm seeing so many folding e-bikes now there's so many companies a lot of them are new you know uh, trying to get their foot in the door and um, and a lot of the folding bikes are in that I'd say in that $1,500 range and with the folding bike the nice thing about those is that you can store them easier because they do fold and you can take them with you camping basically put them in the trunk of your car and If you live in an apartment as well, you know, it's easy to store that folding bike there than a uh, full two-wheeler that doesn't fold. So there are advantages to that and uh, seems like there's a lot of those now uh, out and uh, they're becoming uh, more and more popular. The other thing I'm noticing with just bikes in general, particularly fat bike, uh, fat tire bikes, because that's what I'm into more, but I'm seeing more and more bikes now that are, I'm going to call them the budget price, in or around $2,000. The one to $2,000 is usually, to me, that's, that's in the budget price range. And... Uh, You'll see some that are a little bit under $1,000, but not much. Uh, electric uh, uh, XP uh, 3.0, for example, is right there at $999, so basically $1,000. But uh, you're not going to see too much under $1,000. I think, I think most e-bikes that you're going to see are going to be in that $1 to $2,000 range. And if you want the little bit better ones, they're going to be in the 2 to 3 and then you start getting into the pretty good ones. Like the one I'm riding right now uh, is sold out, but uh, the Lyric Graffiti, it's, it was uh, with the dual battery, a $35.99, so it's up there. But, uh, but, I'm, but I'm seeing a lot more, if I don't lose my voice here, I'm seeing a lot more, uh, the uh, say the $1,500 to $2,000 bikes, starting to push a little bit 
higher quality like uh, uh, or uh, size anyway now, I don't know about quality but size at least of uh, voltage I'm seeing some more slipping in there at 52 volts and 48 for sure but also 52 and it used to be where you've seen a lot more 36 and 48 48 would be the good one now it's getting more toward 52 and even some 60s in there like the wired freedom for example 60 volt road warrior 60 volt and those are in that two thousand dollar range or just slightly over so it's starting to get where you would see in the past you'd have to pay for sure over three thousand to get a 60 volt whereas now like i say you're starting to see them in a little bit less and also the you're also seeing the 52 uh, volt in a cheaper price range so that i like that i like the uh, fact that they're putting a little more a little bit more power into the bikes i just don't want them to uh, cheap out on the parts i'd rather pay a little bit more uh, and get a little bit better quality parts than having to three months or six months into getting your bike having to start deal with uh issues on different things so better quality parts and uh and i've harped on this before i'd like to have better tires off the get-go or give you the option um so you don't have to change them up three months after getting your bike kind of thing yeah, or three to six months it'd be nice to go a whole year before you have to change your tires if you're a frequent rider But that's some of the things that I'm seeing trending, but I don't know where we're going exactly. I'd like to get away from the, uh, the other thing that's trending too is a lot of dual batteries. And I'd like to get into a uh, single battery that's bigger. I don't know if I'm in the minority on that or but I'd rather see a, a larger uh, single battery rather than the dual battery. But we'll see. I mean, I'm starting to see more batteries that are uh, larger capacity, for sure. Like we're seeing uh, 20 amp hour becoming a lot more common now than before. Like you would see your, your basic $2,000 bike would be a, a 750 watt motor, 48 volt, uh, and uh, a 14 amp hour battery. And then you would get the 26 by four tires or 20 by four tires, whichever uh, style of bike you're, you're um, getting. But that, that would be the standard, right? 750 watt, 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. Now we're pushing more. It could be still 750 watt motor because of the some of the laws like here in the state of Oregon, it's a thousand. So say they slapped on there a 52 volt, 750 watt with a 20 amp hour battery. I think you're getting more like that kind of thing for your $2,000 than you were before. But if you're noticing any uh, trends yourself, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to see in what others think and where do they think we're heading in the e-bike world. Well, that's going to do it for this video talking a little bit about trends with e-bikes and where we're heading 
as I almost run over a squirrel. So if you want to leave a comment on the video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about us. If you want to be notified as to, uh, as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.